basically two type of water rights that I'd like to uh, pass on for, for you. And they're so easy to get these two confused on the exam. And the first one is the riparian rights. And the riparian rights work like on a small body of water that is non-navigable. Non-navigable. So if we have a pond and there's a house like this, uh, theoretically, if there body of water is non-navigable, your rights extend for your riparian rights to the midpoint of the water. However, if the water is navigable, and fortunately for you, you won't have to determine whether a piece of, of water is navigable or not for the exam. You're not taking the Coast Guard exam, you're taking the real estate exam, so they'll probably tell you or it will be self-evident uh, but in that case where it's navigable, your rights extend to the water's edge right there. Whereas if it's uh, non-navigable, they extend to the midpoint. Um, and for uh, this type of right, you're allowed to achieve a certain uh, extraction of water for basic homeowner purposes and so that you're not actually uh, disturbing anybody else's right to the water of those local uh, state laws are going to vary so let's take a look at um, how it works with littoral rights littoral rights yep that they're much better and I'll draw a little diagram here actually might change our pen color uh, if we have the ocean down here there's the ocean and we'll say it's low tide right now. Uh, at any beach that you go to, there's always going to be this, uh, turn a little green here, uh, little row of uh, seaweed and rocks, of course, and that type of thing. And that's where the tide usually comes up to be. That's going to be called the mean high water mark. Uh, in this particular case here, your rights extend if you had your house up here there we go your rights are going to extend to the mean high water mark if you live by a large body of water for instance an ocean of course and um when the tide comes up it's going to usually come to this spot here and your rights as the landowner uh, usually go to this point here. So if you're traveling left to right here below the mean high water mark, you are technically not interfering with the littoral rights of the property owner here.